Hey everyone, it's Albie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going over my planned February TBR. So I'm going to first start off by finishing a series that I actually started last year. I am currently reading Devil in Winter by Lisa Kleypas. It's my first time reading it, so no spoilers please. I'm about 35% finished with it. And so the first book I'll finish this month is Devil in Winter. And then I am also planning to read the final book in the quartet of the Wildflower series by Lisa Kleypas. And that is Scandal in Spring. So I'll be reading Daisy's book um, also this month. So I'm very excited to finish the Wallflower series. It's been enjoyable. I will say so far my favorite book has been Devil in Winter just because I really love Sebastian in um, It Happened One Autumn. Book one was okay for me but I did enjoy the semi-prequel Again the Magic. So I'm not too excited to read Scandal in Spring. I don't know. I feel like no one really enjoys that one the most but I'm excited to see how the series ends. Um, the next book I have planned, so those two, is The Notorious Lord Knightley by Lorraine Heath. This is book two in her Chessman series. I actually read the first one, which is The Counterfeit Scoundrel, or yes, Counterfeit Scoundrel. Um, it was good. I gave it three and a half stars. It was uh, sort of an upstairs downstairs storyline. It had a heroine that was um, disguised as a scullery maid or like a maid in, the, in a house with the gentleman, and she was hired as a private detective to prove that this man's wife was cheating on him. So it was a very interesting story. I don't want to give too many spoilers. Um, a three and a half for me, it was it was pretty good. And the mystery just kind of overtook it. But nonetheless, I am excited to read book two, which is the Notorious Lord Knightley. And I'll also be finished reading book three as well, which is In Want of a Viscount. This was actually on my uh, upcoming releases for February, Smash or Pass, or <laughs> not Smash or Pass, Pass, pass or Purchase. Um, and this is about an American heiress who is in need of financial assistance. So she goes to England to find benefactors to help her family's business. So I'm really excited for book three. It was given to me as an art from that galley. So I am um, excited to read it <laughs> and I'm excited enough to pay. <laughs> All right. Um, I also have planned for this month a few monster romances. I will hopefully be able to read Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett. This is book three, I believe, in the uh, Leviathan Fitness series. It's been a really wonderful series thus far, so I'm very excited to read book three. I know, I think book four is Griffin and Gaines, and I don't know when that's coming out, but I wanted to wait sort of until I knew a fourth one is coming before I read the third one, just because I don't want to have to wait forever to read another one again. So this one is an older romance. It's a heroine. I think she's in her late 40s, possibly 50s. I'm not too sure. She's actually the mother of the heroine and the hero from books one and two in the series. So that's kind of cool. So in my head, I'm already picturing like Julian Moore or someone like that for the heroine. So very excited to have an older couple uh, represented and a monster romance nonetheless. So it looks really fun. For y'all that don't know, Ashley Bennett is sort of a um, cozy, spicy um, monster romance writer and I really enjoy those. And following suit with cozy, spicy monster romances, I have plans to read Valentine for My Vampire by Honey Phillips. This is the Fairhaven Falls series, I believe. This is book four, I think. I, I'm not going to read book three right now. It's actually a, I almost said mystery. It's a Christmas romance. It was Minotaur, Mistletoe for My Minotaur. Not yeah, that was it. And I never really got to it during the holiday season, so I don't want to read it until the following or this coming holiday season for my Smut Miss videos. So hopefully I don't have too many spoilers. I mean, I figured the couple's going to end up together, but um, nonetheless, I'm really excited to read this one. I read a couple of vampire romances recently and they weren't my favorite. I mean, I definitely grew up reading Twilight in middle school and high school, or I guess more like high school, and enjoyed those. So I'm hopeful that I can find another fun, spicy <laughs> uh, vampire romance to read. All right, another monster romance I have planned for my TBR is a new release. I did a uh, pre-order Valentine Form of Vampire by Miss Phillips and I have pre-ordered this book which is Plucked by the Orc by Jenna Larkin. I pre-ordered it and it was 99 cents. I don't know how long it's going to stay 99 cents if that's just a pre-sale um, so I'm excited to read it. It's a historical monster romance which I've never read before but y'all know I love historical romances. I really enjoy monster romances so I'm excited to see how this book goes. I will be intrigued. Is it going to be spicy or not because I, I kind of assume it will be just because it's a monster romance but it would be interesting if it was like more like a romantic version of a, what was it, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, where that was like a, literally Pride and Prejudice, but with zombies, is what I've been told by friends that read that. So it'd be interesting to see if this is going to be a closed door 
uh, monster romance that's like I think of the Regency era so that should be really that should be interesting to find out so I'm excited for it it's fairly short I want to say it was either 204 pages or 284 pages when I looked on Amazon just to, like the information stuff so I'm, I'm excited for it. it looks really fun look really cute the cover kind of reminds me of the I just saw it the other day the Julia Quinn graphic novel she did with her late sister the cover kind of reminded me of it is it Miss Butterworth that doesn't sound right that sounds like a maple syrup but Miss Butter something so I'm excited to read Pluck by the Orc. And then my most anticipated read for February, I am still hoping, because you know, sometimes you get a couple, you only get a couple days uh, notice from that galley, but I'm hoping I do get Fangirl down. I probably won't at this point. Um, but if not, I'm going to purchase it on release day. I am so excited for this. It looks so cute. It's a uh, modern day contemporary <laughs> rom-com. My heroine, Josie, I think, I think it's Josie. Josie is uh, like the number one fan of this grumpy golfer, um, like a pro golf athlete guy it just looks really really cute so i have high expectations for it i i already know book two is coming out in i think it comes out july 16th the au pair affair and tessa bailey she is one of my favorite authors she is a little bit of hit or miss for me i'll be honest but this just looks really fun it looks like she's kind of going in a it looks like it's going to be something we're familiar with from tessa bailey but it looks like she's doing kind of a reset just because i know some books recently haven't been people's favorites so maybe she's going to a like a similar formula or something i don't know but just overall the vibes look really fun <laughs> so i've rambled on enough but i think i have a fun list planned it's a mix of old books new releases monster romance historicals uh historical monster romances and a contemporary so i think i've done pretty well on like getting some aspects out for this month um i do have some more videos planned that i didn't get to in january so i want to hopefully record those like i want to do my review for mafia mistress the bride's robe and the wolf and the wallflower by stacy reed um i'll definitely have a video up for that it was really fun so um everyone have a wonderful day don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and i will see you soon for another video also if you can't tell my bookshelf is slowly getting dismantled i'm getting a new bookshelf put up and i will be filming my bookshelf tour probably today and also my bookshelf declutter so it's going to be a bookshelf tour slash declutter video so i'm excited and hopefully y'all enjoy this series <laughs> all right have a wonderful day don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and i'll see y'all soon for another video bye everyone